And this may just be a housekeeping item that may require uh, the applicant to sit with staff for the next maybe two to three weeks until we can clarify this. Because I would hate to amend an agreement that is potentially expired. That's not the case. I, I'd like to. No, and I think that all it says is mutual agreement, and it's not even capitalized. So I think that the consistent dealings that the city has had with the developer right. would, would be to me. I mean, it, it doesn't say how that is a mutu right. mutually agreed upon. It is obvious that they would like to yeah. extend it, I assume, by having yeah, Mr. Lasardi standing there. Um, Mr. Kogan has been working with them. I don't know if the manager has any objections. Right. But I would say that that simple meeting of the minds has occurred in mutual then agreement. What I would like, just to give me that comfort level as, as acting chair at the moment, is um, for you to provide that opinion in writing to council, that that, sure. is, that, that is the opinion. Because um, this is very clear. It basically says that any amendments, you know, mutual consent, or anything that would be of mutual consent between the developer and the city shall be subject to a public hearing. And that doesn't seem to have been the case. Additionally, I believe that the developer, the ownership, has changed. It's not the same owner as in 2007. But the last sentence, I would interpret it differently. Just, just okay. judging from that page that you I'm handed me there. So I would, I'm happy to provide that in writing. Okay, and I'm sure I, that I, would, I would need that. I would need that in writing.